The U.S. Corn Belt just received a glowing report. A new study helps confirm that the Midwest is one of the most productive regions on Earth. Half the world's corn is grown in the United States. Although some corn is grown in each state, two-thirds of the corn of the United States is grown in an area called the Corn Belt. America's family corn farmers are using cutting-edge technology to transform the way the nation's biggest crop is sustainably planted, cultivated, and brought to market. Corn has been grown here for a long time. The Indians grew it for food along with squash and beans. The pioneer American settlers who came here from the east were corn farmers who brought their own seed with them. These pioneer farmers settled first in an area that is now in and near the eastern corn belt. They made their money by raising hogs. Many of them butchered their own, packed the meat in salt to preserve it, and took it on homemade flatboats to the southern states where they sold it to people who grew cotton. Corn is one of America's biggest cash crops. Huge fields fill America's heartland with rows of golden maize. We already use corn-based ethanol in our cars, but scientists want to create more cost-effective fuels from our nation's natural resources. Corn is an important crop. We eat corn as bread, cereals, and as a vegetable. But most of the corn is eaten by animals. Then we eat their products. Milk, eggs, and meat. Because Americans like to eat meat, many farmers grow corn and feed it to animals. Wherever we find corn growing, we usually find hogs nearby because hogs produce more meat from the same amount of corn than any other animal. We can observe that 85% of the corn grown in the Corn Belt is fed to farm animals and only 15% is used otherwise. Here on some of the richest soil in the world, innovation, and advanced technologies. The best biofuels of tomorrow could come from the skin that covers a tiny corn kernel. That coating is called pericarp, and it's a key ingredient in ethanol. Cellulose ferments and becomes a key component in ethanol. Researchers are working on ways to make that cellulose solution flow well with other liquids so we can pump it through pipes and into our gas tanks. We all have an important interest in the Corn Belt. 